Hello again and welcome to Manch Talk. I'm Tammy Simmons Garthwaite. Hi guys, I'm Carla Garrick and welcome back to Tammy. Yay. How was Florida? Um, nice. And, it was hot. Actually, yesterday was really hot. Um, you have a good tan. Yeah. So that's why it's we, nice. Yeah. I, it's a me you know, some people go with, even Dan's got a tan. And Dan's like super sunscreen guy. And he's oh, like, yeah. I think I might be using too have too much SPF. I think I knew I need to. Sh really no, he's got. Sh shouldn't use sunscreen. Well, I don't like the sunscreen. I mean, I did start putting it on my arms and stuff because you, at some point, you're like, okay, I have to stop this. <laughs> um, but it was really nice. We we went to Englewood, which is down um, kind of near Fort Myers, for lack of a better thing. Uh, spent a week there and then um, went up to Siesta Key and spent like three days there, just the two of us. And well, just officially, because everyone's going to hear it here oh. first, I am going to dog nap Tammy's yeah, that dog. That picture, when I saw that, I was like this, mm-hmm. She is so She's cute. just a great dog. How did she I get is, so lucky? Look, look, my dog is like the perfect dog already. Yeah. But, There's but, just but something Jenny, about my dog. Like, Obi is super soft, yes. but Jenny's soft. Yeah. Obi is super cute, and Jenny, Jenny just, just with that little and face. And she, she does, and she no. knows. She <laughs> totally knows what she's doing. When you mess, she, I Carla mess texts Tammy. me and says, how much food do you give her? Because she keeps looking at me like she's starving, starving. and I'm thinking, oh, she is. I can see it. She's doing this. Yeah, she just sits like, there and oh, she kind of gives I, you I the look. I don't think you gave me enough food. You should give me more. And that was funny because I was like, and Tammy goes, uh, one scoop in the morning, one scoop in the evening. And it was maybe the second yeah. or third day. And I was like, okay, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> and she plays so, you like, oh, um, look at me. I've got sad eyes. Yeah, so we went up to um, Goffstown behind the prison. There's a really beautiful, I there's a that rhododendron place. forest. And oh. Like if you drop down, we, yeah. we've kayaked there, yeah, you but, down that. but if you drop in from like the 114 or actually a little farther towards well, Goffstown, yeah. there's, uh, there's a really beautiful part. There's a fallow uh, baseball field. Huh. Anyway, there's a, it's, uh, it's, it's really lovely. I'm not going to tell anyone why so that uh, you know, it secret. stays as beautifully remote as it was. But last week, I face planted in a brook. Happens sometimes. Today, I too. So I thought, oh, so I thought, okay, I'll work my core strength. So for people back home, when you're aging, uh, core strength, it's yeah. what it's about, right? Yeah. So if you can sit down and stand yeah. up, all of that, because it's balanced. Because once yeah. you break something, yes. like if you break a hip or Breaking whatever. Breaking hips are never good. So I've been trying to work on my core strength and balance and play, mm -hmm. right? So I was like, oh, I'll go over this log over the swampy part over there and it was a fairly yeah. big log uh but like i was halfway across and it was like, maybe i mean it was probably eight feet off the yeah. six feet off the ground yeah okay four <laughs> feet off the ground <laughs> it was not next to the ground but it wasn't like like definitely you know and, and, and when i fell off i fell off you know but i was near the mud but <laughs> I went this deep into the mud, up to it, like almost my knees, yeah. and then I just gave up. So they had a great hike today. They're exhausted. Good. They didn't even stand up when I left the house. So well, we have so not that it matters. Not the show should be about this. We have Jenny, which goes. You know, it's always nice. Um, even when we were down there at one point, Mary goes. Oh, I miss Molly. Go, really? Not so much? <laughs> like, I don't mean, I'm like, I, and I think part of the reason why I don't worry, like, I don't get that, like, oh, I miss, because I'm not thinking, like, oh, uh, what's poor Jenny right. doing? Um, but we also have a cat, so we paid our friend Archer, our Archer, who's a friend of our son, um, to come and feed him. So Archer would send us pictures of him brushing or whatever. But I laugh because I come in the house, and he's usually really vocal like yelling at me right. like where have you been mm -hmm. and I, he was kind of like oh hey you're here and and i think he, we always joke like hey so bailey was just telling me that there was a boy in the house <laughs> and he brushed him and he gave him treats and where'd the boy come from uh, so yeah they were good they, it's good to have the animals taken care of when I you're mean, on it the really does make a difference when you know i mean i put my previous dog nelly was in a kennel no once, i don't think i could do that it. experience mm -mm. i was like i will never do that again you know because they don't understand what the heck's happening no, like I they're like why am i in a box what's happened where's right, my people right. it's bad enough you're not there but then you're adding like a bizarre twist to it yeah, yeah. yeah. And so um so florida in general florida how, how free does it feel um, Tammy? <laughs> uh, you know there's some things about florida there's other things you know like i still think new hampshire's got more to offer um other than the absolutely gorgeous weather in the ocean you know obviously you know, I mean, we, um, have, we are 
weather is actually no, awesome it's, too. This Especially isn't if bad. the world is warming, right. you're probably going to be. It was hot. You, you I mean, it's don't only April, and I was real. I mean, granted, I'm not used. We're not used to it, but it was really hot yesterday. And you know what was really hot? The NHGOP meeting. Oh, how fun was that? <laughs> okay, it wasn't really hot, guys. But uh, but I'm sure you heard the drama. So first I, of all, a, a bunch. So they put out signs, which I hadn't seen before, that said NHGOP meeting this way. And yeah, stuff. I, and sometimes they do that. And uh, Just to, to so, make it easy. So, so the reason I mentioned that is people did know what was happening at the school. So this was at Concord High. Okay. And I guess numerous cars i think like 30 cars got keyed what with yeah i did like, not hear about yes. this yet now i'm um, hearing about it so and and it was and covered that's in not right. paper and everything and so i mean it could just be vandalism it could be hooligans it could be high in school the daytime, kids it could be primary school just kids seen, or it could literally somebody be like, like these targeted, stupid like, republicans uh, like, you know, and i'm gonna someone right. who has trump derangement right, right, syndrome right. or something right who can't discern between trump and other people yep. um so that happened. Yep. But uh, but it was interesting. I mean, I think it's the first time that I went where I was just kind of like, previous years, I've always thought it's a little insane. So to me, the idea that you would get 400 people together in a room and then you're trying to make decisions based on who yells the loudest. I know, right? It's Well, that's how the legislator, legislature is sometimes too. I mean, so anyway, so... Some interesting things happened and some less interesting things happened. The the ones um, uh, most on the start were sort of to do were clearly structured in a way to it would have four or five proposals in it. Yeah. And so you could tell they like there was one thing everyone liked, but there were four things no they one was going to like, like or four right, things so, that only some yeah. people were. So you were like, oh, they don't want this to pass, mm -hmm. but they don't want to tell the person with the one thing that they mm -hmm. like, right? So there was a whole bunch of division vote, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And then everyone, it didn't seem like anyone had an appetite for any of that, but we did pass as a... Uh, 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 um, amendment to the, so it was a proposal for amendment to the platform, mm -hmm. defend the guard. Oh, good. And that actually passed. And it was really popular, yep. and I was surprised because once you get four hundred Republicans, well, and once you start, not, and once they start, my my experience is once they uh, pass the first like three, <laughs> nobody can tolerate anything, and they just vote no for every a table. Uh, right, and table. There, was a, there was a little bit of that going on. So Defend the Guard did pass. So that's now in the platform, which it should be. Which is awesome, especially because, you know, it looks like a bunch of lunatics are spoiling for war. Right, right, right. right. And, and, you know, National Guard was never deployed until after I moved to the States. Huh. So that happened in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, that, well, that was all, right, I was going to say. It was like say, a big deal, and I remember people being like, we shouldn't well, do this right. because we're going to start putting them in, in combat right. situations. Right, and we're going to become the army. And, 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 and here we are. Yeah. So um, while we're still on the National Guard part, the Senate, mm -hmm. in a shady, yeah. shady, mm -hmm. shady, 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 I'm looking at you, Senators, Jeb Bradley amongst others, um, tabled it last night. So, so instead of, so it passed the House. Yeah. And what Defend the Guard is, for folks who might not know, it's basically just saying New Hampshire's National Guard cannot be deployed to a combat zone, so these insane wars the lunatics mm -hmm. kept getting us into, unless there is a congressional declaration of war, mm -hmm. which is literally the job well, of Congress. So I'm going to play devil's advocate here, because I was thinking about this this morning when I read, I'm going to sidebar here, I read that there were uh, two hearings yesterday, one in the Senate and one in the House, over education freedom accounts, which is interesting. So the Senate was having their hearing on the House bill, which passed by one vote. Right, and that's like was 190, 189 to say, to five, 500. moving it up yeah. to 500 okay. percent of poverty. And then there was the Senate bill, which the House had a hearing that would have only gone, I think, to 400 percent. Okay. The House committee voted 17 to nothing to kill the Senate bill. Uh, and I went like this. Ooh, uh, because they, they, that's what the article said, the, the House drew the first knife. So I was like, well, why would they, jeez, why wouldn't you save it? But then I thought about it. It, it passed the House as is by one vote. <laughs> so now it's moved over to the Senate. 
if the Senate amends it in yeah. any way, <laughs> it now would have to come back and get another House vote. And the governor had put it in his state of the state address that he would that yep, he wanted it, this. And, and that so he would now, sign it. Right. So, yeah. so now you've got the Senate with a bill and not their bill anymore. Mm -hmm. So on the one you're talking about with Defend the Guard, what I tend to see hap happens often is they, they tabled it. They didn't kill it. So they put oh, them they on. They put it in interim studies. Oh, interim studies bad. But yeah, interim yeah. studies just a polite way to kill right. things. Okay, then that's not the same. I, I, you know, I was going to say it to be corrected, but it, that's what it I, is, I, I think I, I did read it was in, uh, interim yeah. study. So, so it's 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 actually shockingly bad because it actually, I mean, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even like, oh, is this close? Are we going to have to stand yeah. up with our badges, you know, yeah. so someone can count us? It was like very clear yeah. that everyone so in that's, that room that's was unfortunate like, yes. because if it was tabled, my point would have been that the Senate sometimes holds some bills. Oh, and then they start. Well, so trading. that when we go mm. back and forth, and they need they need some fodder, and, and you know the House does it too. We need fodder. You need fodder to so say yeah. And the Senate has the ability in their rule structure to put non-germane amendments on bills, so they could take a defend the guard. So in theory, okay, they could take the House could push back. Say there's bill on whatever. So we say EFA make it 400% will attach well, I don't the defend I don't, the guard. I don't think they'll mess with EFAs. I don't think the House wants the Senate to do anything with the EFAs other than pass it. But I do, there are other bills. Let's, it doesn't even matter. The bill about this that is um, in the Senate, say, the House will have, their own, have some Senate bills that they'll say, fine, you want this? You would like, <laughs> you would like, um, you know, you would like this to pass. We're going to send this bill to committee of conference and you're going to amend it and you're going to add some defend the guard language and then we'll pass this and you'll pass. So there is some games. That is, okay. I mean, that's the way legislation works. It, you know, there is some trade-offs. It's not always just a straight path to where half the body wants and, to go. And I'm like, I feel like in the Senate, which is currently split 1410 mm -hmm. Republican Democrat, mm -hmm. where are the anti war Democrats? I mean, come on. I don't guys. know what the Democrat, I, well, because those come are, on. they're not anti war Democrats anymore. They're just super bizarre. Like pro some pro, wars, but not others, yeah. and mm -hmm. killing these people is but, but okay, kill, but killing right. these people right. is bad. Killing babies is always good, apparently. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all right, so so that's defend the guard. The last two things yes. I wanted to say on the on the meeting itself was, so when I got there, Victoria Sullivan, who has run for mayor here in Manchester before, and I believe uh, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Uh, yeah, uh, um, she had put in a proposal which has been happening over the years. Many, 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 Tammy many years. And I've worked on it. I know Dan worked on it when he was on yep. the committee. All of that just trying to sort of become a little more inclusive in the sense that we can say uh, traditional marriages, strong marriages. Strong families, strong support of children. So, I mean, the homophobes came out in force. It was uh, shocking to me because, you know, you don't always see that. Well, and I had, know, somebody and I send like, me wow. a I had somebody <laughs> send me a message and said they were a little taken aback because of the constant um, I forget how they worded it, but the constant repetitiveness of saying our Christian values. And they said, and this person said to me, they said, so we don't care about Jewish people's values or any other religious values. And I thought, yeah, I, you know, I'm not, it, they are not two separate things. You can be pro Christian values and pro other people's values too. You can't, it, it, it goes back to like freedom of religion. People want freedom of religion or government in general. People want freedom. Well, but as long as it's their slice of freedom in the way they want it, protecting their personal stuff. Well, and I'm like, mm, I, I don't know how I that's. Think, I think the mistake that people make is, in, in my opinion, government is evil. So trying to turn the government into good or into a godlike institution is folly at best um and so people don't seem to understand that like you can't use the force of government you, to that, implement the, i mean you can, they can't but then you have right. a theocracy that's what and they i'm don't. not really down with well that and that's either. what they don't understand they say 
Well, I want, yes, I agree, we should all have freedoms. Oh, except for over here because I want this to be the rule. Right. Because and it protects my freedom. I mean, it's sort of, I mean, mm. I know maybe this is really difficult for people to hold in their heads, but it's sort of like, like I'm pro-life. Yeah. But I probably wouldn't make abortion illegal. I definitely don't think it should be people, federally illegal. Right. And, you know and, what I mean? Right. Okay. And and on a state level, I think you can, you know, argue for states' yeah. rights. But ultimately, because I believe in individualism, I mean, I'm going to judge you harshly. Right. Don't right. get me wrong. And I, I and I personally believe it is wrong. But if reasonable people disagree, then you have to, if we believe in freedom, right. make allowances for people who are going to do things you don't right. like. And and yes. It's murder, in my opinion. It is. But, but, but so is war, right. and people don't want to talk about right. it that way. Right. You know? It is weird. It is very weird. And people, and you're right, and there are certain, um, there's slices of both parties, but in a, we're talking about the Republican Party here. There is a slice that can't seem to un, untangle themselves from the difference between freedom for all because that's the difference. If you really believe in freedom and liberty, it has to be for all. So you can't create pay, different right. classes and with different no, rights and, and, for and different and reasons because it doesn't work. You know, sometimes you just have to be able to step back and say, "Okay, I like this, but it should it be a part of the government or the law to say everybody because, must like because, this?" Because you know, with the marriage thing on the platform, it is. Uh, so whenever, I mean, the platform is actually full of this now, yes. right? Like whatever the hot topic oh, is. Oh, I noticed Because they passed some proposal where I was just it was like, like, oh, God, we're going to look like lunatics, right? <laughs> I just like noticed it was, it was a lot you know, of weird details that know, I was the, like, the, the, why the is that? biological going? sport for women and like all the stuff and it's that, that is I don't in the news and, right I, now. and I totally don't disagree with it, but I was like. But I was like, should it be in the just, platform or are we just doing like X talking points for this yeah. week, right? So it's the stuff that distracts people's minds. Yep. From the actual issues, yep. like freedom, I don't know, liberty. freedom and liberty, <laughs> uh, the monetary system, yep. maybe like getting our debt under control, yep. ending endless wars, stop and you know, funding the military-industrial surveillance complex. You know, the feds are just I the Republicans just passed. Oh, I know, limitless mm -hmm. surveillance. Like we are in the panopticon now. Um, on the on the proposal that Victoria's proposal in this is the I can't tell you how many umpteenth iteration of the same thing that we've tried. Do you know that we have not? I don't believe once, actually, maybe once, taken a vote. They always table it, yeah. and I've always stood up and said I am perfectly okay with losing. I'd like to know the number. Right. Is it? 40% of our, our Republican body? Is it 70%? Just give me a number. I would just right. like to know if I'm in a view, espousing a viewpoint that's in super minority, or am I as like Where am I on right. the spectrum? Yeah. And, but no, you can't have that because we won't, might not like the answer. Right. So we won't talk about it. So Anyhow. then, towards the end of the day, and I have to say this is the first time I've stayed through you know, because uh, it's a cause, long cause, day. Well, it's a long day, and there's just honestly, I mean, I'm sorry, I try, man. I'm trying to serve, I'm trying to, but geez, politics. Like, after a while, I'm yep. just like, it's like, oh, I just can't anymore. Anyway, I did. Because Jason Gerhardt, bless his heart, and tra you know, he kind of is a bit of a troll. He's running for sheriff. I think he would be wonderful in that role. Uh, introduced, you know, two sort of uh, playful, I guess, resolutions. Uh, the one had to do with basically taxation is theft, so it was something with the IRS and whatever, and that went nowhere. But he also introduced a resolution that had to do with geoengineering, oh. and it basically is like two sentences. It's kind of strong, like slightly quirky, I guess, language yeah. that includes the words, uh, plans to blot out the sun is insane which is entirely true, by the way, and people are actually talking about doing that, including Bill Gates, Jabby Jabby Gates. So the geoengineering proposal, I actually spoke on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and all I said, I went up, you know, and I introduced myself and I said, look, I don't know if chemtrails are real or not, but don't you think we should know? Right. And, and the room without, actually went and, and quiet the, as I said it. And then they put it up, and it, like, it, it, it was, was like, overwhelmingly, I'll, I'll vote for that. <laughs> over, 
overwhelmingly. So uh, geoengineering is now banned in New Hampshire according well, to the resolution. platform, right? right? right. So, um, I mean, but my understanding is that is uh, the platform can then start to guide legislation. Like it if does. you introduce the, a bill, you can say, well, you know, this yeah, is the in Republican the pl Party platform the, says this, yes. You know, so I think it won't. Um, but you know what, honestly, we do need to get a handle on the geoengineering thing. There's I, a lot of did things. Did you see the floods in Dubai um, and Oman and I did all not. those places? I was on vacation. So, I mean, it happened yesterday, fair I enough. Know, I, I mean, I was looking. Vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no, I was on vacation until midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, 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 I actually shared it on my ex account. Uh, I saw a video yesterday where it was like some guy just, you know, random tiktok -y kind of video, just a random guy speaking Arab, uh, being like, look at these clouds coming in and it just goes black. And then this morning I saw like the airport in Dubai just and drenched. like airplanes like landing in like flood water. Like it was, wow. So um, they do do, I think. They do do cloud seeding in that area, so this is they the kind of stuff their we're, own. we're talking about. Is you know, if everyone's doing their own little right, that's how, uh, that's microclimatic right. thing. Perhaps this is what's making the world's weather a little frothy. Um, so we are going to run out of time <laughs> soon, but so maybe next week we can talk more about it. And see how it pl how things change. Two things um, missed most of the. Um, Homeless director. Drama, Oster. drama, drama. Um, but I'd like to see more. <laughs> I, what I what was funny to me is, um, peculiar to me is, how her side, the, the pro homeless spending machine, um, try to spin it that that's why she got was losing her job because we don't want to spend money on the problem where i'm like mm, no you kind of lost your job because you didn't weren't really you thinking didn't. when you went to the radio and bashed your employers well that and also don't uh, talk have, have you solved the problem no. like show us show us, show us any us data work, show right? us a one percent and, and, and if you're not showing actual numbers that the average lay person can understand then you're not doing your job well enough because you're not able to convey well, that and you're also, making was it you or someone else told me, apparently she was sort of saying to the council, um, oh, you, well, this is too hard. Like, right. you guys can't understand yeah. this. And then someone and, and was like, was, hey, like, I'm not a police right. or a That was Dan O'Neill. You know, Dan O'Neill's like, I can understand every other uh, department that I've never been involved okay. in. So what? what and, it, and whether you will think they're dumb or not, it's still your job to convey it to them so that they can answer. Welcome. So that's one thing <laughs> that maybe we'll talk about next week. The other thing I noticed is as we were driving in from the airport last night, my God, that apartment building down near Velcro is huge. Yes. It is huge. So that got me thinking. Like, you keep hearing, and there's article this in today's paper. Boom yes. Boom. So there's, um, they want to build apartments uh, where across from Murphy's, where between Murphy's and like the Verizon. <laughs> and that's Sorry. 250. That's 250 units. And then the one down there, that's got to be at least 200 units. It's a lot. And this is 200 and some right over here on Auburn Street. And then there's like another 90 that they're talking about on Central. You know, like, so there's upwards of like they say 2,000 units being built in the next year or two in Manchester. And then I see the comments from people talking about, well, I hope some of them are going to be $1,000 a month. And I'm going to say this, and I know it will piss somebody off and it will people will say i'm mean and here's the reality if you are advocating in today's economy that is riddled with inflationary reaction where everything is expensive if you still think that you're going to find a thousand dollar a month rent whether it feels right or wrong you're only going to get that if the government meaning carla and i subsidize your rent. I am not the government. I am a taxpayer, no, but though. but that's what I'm saying. Voluntary we, we are the, the ones who subsidize <laughs> other people's things. Right. And it's not just New Hampshire. Like, people would have, you believe that, oh, my God, it's New Hampshire. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, the housing prices in Florida were through the roof. And, I mean, I think you'll see them come down soon. You can see, you can feel the vibe but down Florida there. Florida is probably also a hot market, but New Hampshire is a right. hot market, too. So, the reality is, if you're really upset that you can't, like, a lot of these places are saying, there was one in the article, and it said it'd be the lower side of them was 1500 to 1700 And I'm like, but that's a brand new apartment. You can't expect to pay $1,000 a month for a brand new apartment. No more than I can expect to pay 
the same price for a brand new home I mean, I as, don't even as think a 40-year-old home. It's I don't not, think you could pay a thousand bucks for someone's basement apartment well, in I Manchester Well, I mean, I know people anymore, who pay close to a thousand, but it's like, I understand the, that there's a lot of problems with landlords buying up buildings and kicking people out. Like, there's all sorts of problems. But the, pro the, the crux of it that will e ease it for most is for God's sakes, can we please elect somebody else for president? Like anybody, because we cannot keep going down this inflationary. Oh it is can out we talk of control. about this? The reason I laughed, Tammy was like, "What is she laughing at?" So it's in today's paper, and it says, "U.S. economy." What if Fed rate heights are actually sparking growth? Yes. <sighs> now, when you see BS like that, that should be like when they are telling you when you objectively go to the grocery store and you're like, everything is, and the package a is a little but, smaller yeah. and at least a dollar more I mean, expensive. I, a pound of butter, I think, is still a pound, but most things that used to come in a pound or a gallon aren't. And the prices, so here's, it, it's a silly metric, right? But the economist used to do the uh, Big Mac yeah. index. So I do the uh, Starbucks index yes. for the following. So two medium coffees with coconut milk yeah. and two of the orders of egg and Gruyere yeah. egg bites, right? So I get uh, on yeah. the way back from a hike um, and take them home. When I started doing that, whenever, like five years ago, it cost $19.84, $19.84. It is now $24 right. for the same order. So it's like, that's, guys, that's we all bucks. know nothing is sparking growth no. here. It's nonsense. It's, inf it's inflation. It's just everything's getting more and more expensive. Like, literally everything. And the reason people are feeling that pinch when it comes to rent is because their other money is be in being absorbed in day-to-day -day life. So if you were spending $90 for groceries and you're out spending $130, that's 40 bucks a week that you can't set and, aside. That's right. $200 a month that yep. can't go to the rent. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> so what do we want the takeaway to be um, here? Uh, you should uh, understand economics better. Yes, <laughs> that would be a start. Um, and yeah, that's the all only I other had. thing I'm, I I'm want. trying to think what's um, coming up this next weekend, weekend. Next, this weekend, not so much. Um, next Saturday, the 27th of April, uh, Friends of Piscataqua River mm -hmm. Park have their big cleanup. Um, ton, super great day. Uh, we provide lunch and you know all sorts of stuff. Uh, we had dozens of people out last year. I'm guessing there'll be more this year. Um, we were out at least twice yep. last week. Louis just and get, I just get that. Up trash. Um, you know, Falling there's no reason why that park can't be an absolute stunning, beautiful, beautiful it, it, place. I mean, it already is. More than it already up. is. Yeah. And we need people's help to come out there and help it, help us make it so without spending government and money. You, they can find more information um, at, I think it's I think We Heart West has yes, some of it. And, and uh, there's a Facebook page that for Friends of Piscataqua River Park. And I don't quote me on this because, again, vacation. I think it's piscataquag.org. <laughs> Is the if website. you can spell it. P I S Cat a Quag. Q U O A G. I don't know. Anyways, we're getting the wrap up signal. Um, that's all we've got for this week. Uh, thankfully, spring's here and the leaves are all budding. And enjoy, and we'll be back next week. It's all good. Bye, guys.